What is going on guys? We're back and we're doing something with the Grom today. Um, today we got something in the mail. We're going to be putting the Chimera intake for the air intake on this thing. And it came with its own air filter. So we're going to be putting this on. And I believe I have to take off the side pieces here to get to the air box here. But we'll go ahead and start working on that. Take this off and get all that mounted up into place. I know... This side comes off for sure, so I may take this one off first, and then we'll see if I need to take the other side off as well. Okay, so you have to actually take these off here, and then this comes out, take this screw out, and then this just pops off here. Uh, there's a screw here, and then there's two in the back, and then I gotta take this last bolt off here, and all of this, should just come off it might be the screw too i don't know but it all should come off as like one piece so let's do that real quick and then we'll get to taking the airbox off Okay, there are two screws here in the bottom, but now that thing should just come right out. I hope.
Okay, so we got the hose on here, and we got it clamped to the top of the throttle body here, so we should be all right. We got this all in place. I think this is where it's supposed to go. We got the plug in here. Um, the hose that went to this port on the air box, then we had to pull it back. So that's here. And this plugs into the top of the, here. I may just have to use two hands on this, put this here. And then there is another hose that just hangs here. That actually goes to the fuel tank. It's like a breather hose. You just leave it alone. But once we get this hose on here, then I can start putting the bike back together. And I don't forget, we gotta put these screws back in the top of the throttle body too. All right, we got the hose on. All this is ready to go. This is in place. The bolts are back in place. So now he's got to put the um, plastics back on the bike and we should be ready to go. Also, look and see how much room you have up in here once you take this piece out. Like, I know the air filter just sits right here, but there's so much more room to, like, on the bike. So I guess that's a plus as well. All right, guys, the bike is done. As you can see over here, there's the hand tag in your second air, and it actually sounds a little bit different, it's a little bit louder. I drove this thing for a couple hours, and now I'm getting about 60 miles an hour out of this thing, so this air intake is definitely worth the money. It's probably the best performance mod you can do for this thing right now, you're not doing anything else. But yeah, it's pretty easy. And then you have this little strut that goes across and holds the fairings together. So, <clears throat> super easy inside. Very happy with it. Highly recommend. Um, if you are going to upgrade the ground, something that you don't have to do a lot of work to, use the air intake. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like this video. Take care and have a great day.